Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're gonna talk about the best Google Home light switch, or at least give you a ton of different options for Google Home light switches, and hopefully give you a better understanding of smart light switches in general. So if you wanna use your light switches with Google Home, you can do so. So when you install one of these smart light switches below that are compatible with Google Home, it will allow you to control your smart lighting with Google Home voice commands. So if you have Google Assistant or a Google Home or Google Home Mini, you can then use your voice to control your smart lighting. And it's probably one of my favorite upgrades in my home. So let's get started going through each one of these Google Home light switches, just tell you how they work and some of the features and functions of each one of these so you can get an idea of what Google Home light switch is right for your home. So all of these smart light switches on this table are Google Home compatible and they're from some of the top brands in smart home products. The first one we've got is the TP-Link smart light switch. This is an on-off TP-Link light switch, but then we've got the TP-Link dimmer switch here, and you can turn it on and off with the button here, or then adjust the dimming levels with the two buttons down here. Now, the TP-Link smart dimmer works with Google Home and connects to your Wi-Fi. You don't need any kind of a hub to operate this. They do have a three-way compatible TP-Link smart light switch, but is not a three-way dimmer switch. So for some of you, that might be important. And a three-way switch is just one of those switches where you've got two switches which control one lighting location, typically like what you might see at a stairs. Now, another thing to note about the TP-Link smart light switches is that they do require a neutral wire. Typically, I found that the TP-Link smart light switches are very value oriented and you can get some great deals on this TP-Link switch if you look around. And there have been times that I've been able to find the TP-Link smart light switch under $20. Now, the TP-Link smart light switch is fairly easy to install. It did require that neutral wire, but once it was wired up, I didn't have any issues getting it connected to the TP-Link app. The TP-Link app was reliable functional and allowed scheduling and timers as well as customization within the app for each light switch. Now the next smart light switch we're going to talk about that works with Google Home is the Wemo light switch. So this Google Home smart light switch comes in both an on off and a dimmer variety. We've got the on off switch here and these do not require a hub either. However, they do require a neutral wire, just like the TP-Link. And if you don't know what a neutral wire is or you wanna learn more about a neutral wire, we're gonna put a link below so that you can understand more about that. We've got another video that explains it completely. Most homes built after 1980 are going to have a neutral wire in the switch box, but not all of them. If you have an older home, you still may have a neutral wire but you really don't know till you open up that light switch. So go ahead and watch that video. We show you what you need to know on how to identify a neutral wire. But the vast majority of newer homes will have a neutral wire, so they're gonna be compatible with any of these switches. And stick around, if you don't have a neutral wire, we still have a light switch that is compatible with Google Home, but does not require a neutral wire, which is this one, the Lutron Cassetta. So overall, the Wemo switch and the dimmer are easy to install and wire up. They do require that neutral wire. There is a three-way Wemo light switch, but once again, there is not a Wemo three-way dimmer out there. Now, I will say the Wemo light switches out of all of these have been a little bit particular when I'm connecting them to Wi-Fi networks. They will only connect to that 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and are very particular about it if you have a dual band router. So you just need to make sure that when you're setting this up, you have the Wi-Fi router set to the 2.4 gigahertz setting to make sure that this goes flawless with the Wemo switch. Once I've gotten them connected, they work great and they work with Google Home, so no issues there. So now let's get on to our next Google Home light switch. Now this is the Lutron Cassetta smart light switch system. Now this does require a hub. The other smart light switches out here do not require a hub. Now it's not a big deal. The hub for the Lutron Cassetta system plugs right into your Wi-Fi router. It's about the size of a hockey puck. Not a big deal really. And it does have a 75 device limit. So that's something to note. But for the good news, if you don't have a neutral wire, the Lutron Cassetta smart system and smart dimmers, they have just regular on off ones, but this is a smart dimmer. 
These will work without a neutral wire. You can see on the back here, you've got your ground wire, all of them have that, but these only have two wires. You do not need a neutral wire in order to install the Lutron Cassetta smart light switches. These can go in without a neutral wire. So even if you have an older home, you are gonna be able to install these. These are incredibly easy to wire. If you have an existing light switch with two wires going to it, you will be able to install the Lutron Cassetta light switch, which is pretty much every light switch out there is gonna have two wires going to it, which means that this is compatible with almost every type of light switch and wiring out there on the market. So very simple to install switch. It has one less wire, does not require a neutral wire, works great on the app once connected, and I haven't really had any problems with the Lutron Cassetta smart light switches. And some people like the functionality of these. They have an on and off button and then a dimmer indicator on the side and then you can adjust the dimming levels right there in the middle now these do work in three-way switch configurations and four-way light switch configurations and you can do that just with the addition of a pico remote so they have some plates that go around these just like a standard wall cover plate you install the wall cover plate and the pico remote you don't even have to wire up your three-way switch so if you want to add a three-way switch you can do so with this Pico remote. We'll include another video on this below. It's pretty neat. And these remotes last for 10 years. So if you have an existing three-way switch, really simple to install a Lutron Cassetta smart switch that works with Google, or if you want a three-way switch and you don't have one, you don't have to wire a three-way switch up. You can just connect this to one side of the circuit and then wirelessly connect to this and it looks just like a built-in light switch. I've been fooled by these many times where I thought an actual light switch was installed, but it was just one of these remotes installed behind a cover plate. They look just like a standard light switch installed. So overall, the Lutron system and Lutron app, a great option. The app has all kinds of functionality where you can schedule, create rooms and all kinds of different scenes for your Lutron cassette lights, which is really high quality, well thought out switch there that gets a ton of testing. And you can tell when you use these products and install them, they work really great. So one of my favorite Google Home light switches here and another one of my favorites is these Leviton smart light switches. Now let's get over to the Leviton smart light switches, which is another one of my favorite Google Home light switches here. Uh, these are really high quality switch. This is the Leviton smart dimmer. So this light switch works by you just press the button for on or off. And over here on the side, you have a dimming level adjustment. So you just go ahead and press this up or down and that's gonna adjust the dimming level. And then they have an LED indicator on this side that tells you the current dimming level. Now these smart light switches, you can see they do require a neutral wire. There's that white wire there. So the Lutron Cassetta is the only one on this table that does not require a neutral wire. The Leviton ones do require neutral wire, but they do not require that hub. So three options that do not require a hub one option that does require a hub, and one option that does not require a neutral wire. Overall, the Leviton smart light switches, a high quality smart light switch. The app has a ton of functionality in there. It does work with three-way systems. It does require neutral wire, so that's maybe the one downside, but I found these to be very reliable and work really well in my home. In my home, I have all of these is because I test all of these so that I can do these videos. However, I kind of lean towards these two when I'm installing a new light switch in a location. Now, here's another interesting smart light switch that works with Google that is from Leviton. And this is a Leviton switch that has actually Alexa built in. It still works with Google, but this has a little Echo Dot speaker basically built in here. So it's got microphones and a speaker, and this will work just like an Alexa device that is installed. So if you ask it what the weather is, it will tell you what the weather is through that speaker, but you can also control the light switch with voice commands or other smart devices that are connected to Alexa through voice commands, but this will also work with Google Home voice commands if you have it connected to a Google Home device. Now, just an interesting piece here because it does have Alexa and Google functionality, but it has that Alexa device built in, but it works with Google Home. So just something interesting there to show you for some of those of you that might be interested in something like that, and that is a dimmer switch. It does require neutral wire, but it does work with three-way light switches overall. So the question is, what is the best Google light switch for your home? Well, I'm gonna leave that up to you and just give you my personal opinion. 
Lutron and Leviton have been in the lighting space for a long time, and they were actually some pioneers in the original development of Wi-Fi and Z-Wave and Zigbee smart light switches. So they've been doing this a long time. Now these other switches work and they are reliable. However, if I were making the investment in my home to install smart light switches, I would maybe lean a little bit more towards those companies where a big part of their business is lighting controls, lighting and electrical products, and that's this Lutron and Leviton systems because they support this broad network of electrical devices, which is really their bread and butter. So if I'm choosing a smart light switch, I'm probably gonna lean towards one of these two options, and if I don't have a neutral wire, I'm gonna go with the Lutron Cassetta. However, if you want a great value, I have seen some incredible sales on the TP-Link light switches where it would almost be half as much to install TP-Link light switches throughout your home versus one of these two options. So just something to consider there. And another thing to consider when you are connecting Google Home devices or selecting a Google Home light switch is what is the ecosystem you want to work with that device. So some of these products have some smart plugs and other devices that work within that ecosystem. That's just something to think about if you are considering one of these Google Home smart light switches. So I hope this gave you a good overview on what Google Home light switch is right for you. And if you like this video, give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below to support us.